collective welcome back to the ascended divination priestess channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently i call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Well, I'm going to do something a little different today. Um, so for the past, what, seven months, I've had people... Uh, bullying me, harassing me, stealing from me, blocking me, all kinds of stuff, trying to block my money, trying to control how much money I can make, and all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and, and address you low vibrational insecure people today. There's a masculine, you've been in my phone, technology, everything, trying to destroy my life and my kids' life. So I'm going to address you all. You want attention, so I'm going to give it to you today. So basically what's been happening is like, these people have formed some type of cult-like mentality, but a bunch of old folks that do nothing but bully other people. Uh, so they've been basically bullying me because uh, apparently when I started doing my channel, they thought it was all jokes and stuff, okay? Uh, until they realized that I actually had talent, I actually have gifts and things like that, and they're embarrassed because I have access to information on them, but they don't have any access to information on me uh, in the way that I do. So they have to violate my privacy to find out things about me, whereas I just got to close my eyes or just sit there and I can see whatever the heck it is I want to see. Talk about real invasion of privacy, right? So what they've been doing for the past few months is uh, bullying me from behind the scenes. And they do it in a way where you don't know what it is they're doing or you don't have a way of proving what it is they're doing. Uh, so if I apply for a job, what they'll do is go in there and interfere with that application. They'll either call that company, tell them not to hire me, or if I get the job, they will contact people in that company to bully me and make it seem like I'm incompetent or something. I ain't no freaking incompetent person. I'm working on my master's, okay? All right, I've always been educated, graduated, under uh, honor rolls, okay? Baby, you pull my transcript, straight A's on there. Never been illiterate, never been incompetent. I have an accent, not the, not a mental illness. I have a heavy tongue, not a mental illness. So I'm going to address your mother efforts today. Let's get it. Okay, so I have a masculine. You got some type of obsession with me. You're in my phones. You're in my, uh, you don't crash multiple computers of mine. Because you people are trying to control how much money I can make. Apparently because I'm a black little girl, I need to know my place. Um, I don't need to make any more than what you think I deserve. F you, you will see me become prosperous. You've been blocking my channel from growing, and guess what? I have a whole nother freaking business that's growing elsewhere, and you will never in your life know what it is. You will never have your hands on it, so I'm still going to get my freaking Ten of Pentacles almost there. So you can keep crashing this little baby here if you want to, but I'm going to still wake up every day, show up on this platform, and post like I say, I would because what there are people on like you that watch this platform that actually enjoy my content and find value in it. So your bitter, insecure self can keep doing whatever the heck it is you want to do. I applied for two jobs recently. One was to manage a restaurant and the other was to work as a team member. Somebody went into my email account and changed the password, locked me out of it because when I applied for that management position, they actually reached out uh, so that I could schedule an interview with them. Somebody didn't want me scheduling that interview, so they went ahead and locked me out of the email account. Guess what, Mother Effa? I went there and scheduled the interview physically, so I'm still going to have my interview. So what they did was try to stop me from being able to schedule that interview because if I was to schedule that interview, then I would be making good money, right? I'm not in like anymore because they've been hating my finances. Mind you, I got three babies that I take care of, love my babies to death. But apparently people hate me so much for being myself, they don't want to see me live in prosperous. So anyways, I went there physically, scheduled the appointment, the interview. So I'm, I'm going to go see them. Okay, we're we going we gonna to go take care of business. You're trying to control something, someone you will never be able to control. I am self-minded, born free, live free, will die free. I will live according to my own rules and principles, okay? And I will die on my own time, okay? At 103. 
mark my words. Anyway, so basically what it is is that they decided they don't want me applying for the, they don't want me interviewing for the management position, right? But it's okay for me to work um, as a team member making nineteen fifty an hour. Mind you, I'm someone that's used to making somewhere in the 20s per hour because what well, I got babies to take care of. So I worked really hard to get myself to where I've been in life. I didn't wake up one day and was, you know, living comfortable. I had to work my way up. They never have my hand out to anybody. So I'm going to address you all today since you keep bullying people, but you want to throw rocks and hide your hands. I told you all, I don't do nothing from behind the scenes. If I got something to say to you, I'm going to say it to you straight. So I know you're watching me and you'll hear exactly what the F I got to say to you. Okay. So they want me working the 1950, working as a CNA, because that keeps me in a bracket where I'm living from paycheck to paycheck and barely, barely making it. Okay. That's what they want, want for me and my kids. That's not my destiny, darlings. It never has been my destiny, never will be my destiny. But here it is. How good. Let's sit back and see how good God is. So I applied for a CNA position, went to the freaking place, got a whole different position. But I said I'll still work as a CNA. I don't see, uh, not a CNA, a home health aide. I applied for a home health aide position, called the lady up. She said, hey, yeah, come on into the office. We'll talk and, you know, figure some stuff out. So I went in there, whole different position given to me. So I got that and I told her, hey, I'll still work as a caregiver because, listen, it's money, money. <laughs> I don't got no ways. No, I don't feel no ways about making money. Okay, so I said I'll still work as a caregiver part time um, for you, and then I'll do the other position. She said, "Cool, we'll do that." Um, and then, bang, I get a call. Uh, I mean, I get contact from another company, <laughs> schedule an interview. Now I go to check my email because I remember I applied to manage a restaurant. And apparently the company reached out to me and somebody didn't want me replying or scheduling their interview. So I went in person. Maybe you ain't going to stop nothing here. I'm in control of my own destiny. Like I said, F you and your crusty balls. You, you're obsessed with someone you'll never have. You're all obsessed with someone you'll never have control over. You'll never control me. I'm a, I am my own person. I will always be my own person. You're pathetic as heck. Every freaking day you see me on this channel, baby, I'm going to show up here loud and clear, bold as can be like I've always been. I don't care what how you feel about it. I don't want nothing from you. One of your crusty balls thought you were going to come in and give me some type of offer or something. And then I'll be like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. F you in that offer. Go stick it up where the sun do not shine. You've been bullying me for months for what reason because you're insecure you're bitter you want you want to put a little black girl in her place she shouldn't make more than this i don't want to see her abundant who the f are you go heal or something go heal you're bothered by my gift that's not my problem turn off my channel and go watch something else get off my platform but i'm not gonna turn off my clairs for you i've been like this since i was a kid i don't make no excuses for it Spend most of my life trying to hide, hide what I am so I don't make people feel uncomfortable. But when I tell you I don't give no F what people think, I don't give no F no more. You're not going to control how much money I can make. I decide that. And you're going to sit and watch me be prosperous in life, just like I told you. So you want to be working as a CNA, as a, a fast food team member, baby? I'm going to still work those jobs. But guess what? I got other things too going on. What's up? And it ain't nothing you can do to stop any of them. What you gonna go? What you gonna do? Call my own business and say, "Hey, she's problematic. I want you to. I just want you to be careful with her." So you gonna call me and tell me my tell me to be careful with myself? Pathetic as heck. <laughs> Make sure you get the number right. Like I mean, somebody is obsessed, obsessed, in the phone. Just any time I reach, like, they don't even want me receiving emails. Like, you're obsessed with someone you can never, you're, you're, baby, you and I would never be in the same bedroom together. I don't know which one of you is that obsessed. You and I would never. It ain't no love. Love is not reciprocated from here to you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone.
You find me to be beautiful, good for you. I came out as the queen of wands. Maybe it's always been like that. I can't help it. Not my problem, God took time. I know it's women amongst you that hate me for how I look. Baby, please. I don't I don't lose no, lose no sleep over it. Okay? Baby, energy will always be consistent. Hardworking queen of wands. I am always going to be working. And I don't care what I got to do to take care of my babies as long as it's legal. But you tell you... Oh, she. let's make sure she don't work this job. If she works this job, she's going to be fulfilled in life. Maybe, but, uh, listen, I'm going to always come out as a queen of pentacles, business savvy, always been. Ask that mother effer that's been working with you all, trying to pin me out to be illiterate or something. Baby, ain't nobody illiterate over here. Like I said, I got an accent, not a mental illness. Okay? What I got going on, you'll never find out what it is. You'll never get your hands on it. You'll be living miserable and watch me thriving off of my own work. Something that I produce with my own hands. Self-starter. And I'm going to post this, this video right when I'm done doing it so you can get it. I know how miserable or how desperate you are to just get a few of my energy. Pathetic as heck. You said, why, why, you, why are you all this obsessed with one person? You're so desperate to see somebody out in the cold. Talking about we, we, we need them. We need her to be homeless. We need, we need her to be this. We need her to be that. You ain't never going to see me in that state. That is not my portion in life, darling. My portion has never been to be homeless or nothing like that. I mean, oh, girl, please. I've been there before, lived in a shelter before, but maybe it wasn't nothing where it's like violence and things like that. God has always made sure I was good no matter what situation I was in. Always. So whether it was a homeless shelter, it was a decent one. I wasn't worried about somebody com coming in at night to do me something, nothing. I slept good at night in that place. A whole house, right? Rooms and st oh, Come on. You're so jealous of somebody and so insecure. Like, it's some, li listen, it's somebody just going all out. Can't get this job. I got to stop this. I got to get ahead of them and make sure I... St like, you, you're, you're so set on destroying someone, you don't even realize you were checkmate a long time ago. You've been being distracted and you don't even realize it. So you invaded my prophecy in every way, shape, or form you could. And you still didn't realize that you were checkmate a long time ago. Crazy. When you're so angry and bitter, you don't realize things like that. How many people are you going to call? How many emails y'all going to send? Hmm? How many emails? To people to betray family members and stuff. How many emails you gonna send? Uh, let me just send them an email. Let me call them. We're gonna tell them how unstable she is. You don't want to be friends with this person. They they are not loyal. Like you're just so desperate, desperate to have somebody just what be on your side. See you what. You're never going to live a day in your life where you see me or my babies out in the street, on the streets, homeless, desperate, broke, busted, or disgusted. You will never in your lives see that happen. And whoever you are thinking you're coming in to my energy with an offer to, I don't want nothing from you. Leave me alone. Queen of Wands to the Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Baby, abundance. Hard work produces abundance. I am going to have my Ten of Cups. It ain't with who you think it is. I know somebody's, one of you is trying to force your way and you say, if I isolate and, re and block all these offers and I, can, I don't want nothing from you. Like, I know who you are. I don't want nothing from you. I don't want to partner up with you. My legacy is going to be built by me and me alone. I don't want nothing to do with you. Don't care to be part of your enterprise, your institution, whatever. Leave me alone. I don't care how big the check is, how large the position. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Now you got a whole family. You're confused. What, what you confused about? 
What you confused about? You're still trying to cause conflict about what? Someone's opportunities, their options. And what, what, what are you confused about? You don't know what's going on. Where is somebody going? How can we do this? Why are you so pathetic that you're waking up every day to cause mayhem in somebody else's life and they're not even paying you any money? Like you're coming after me consistently and I'm acting like you're not even there. Don't even, not, not even acknowledging you. You're crashing computers and I'm not responding. You, 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 you're hacking my emails. I'm not responding. You're getting on my platforms reposting content making these weird ass uh, uh comments and stuff you share the content and put these weird stuff i'm not responding you don't feel pathetic at all you still keep doing it but you you, you like how old are you like you think you and i are about to go back and forth for what i don't got nothing to prove to you you're the one coming on my platform you're the one that's obsessed with me i don't i don't i don't have any obsessions with you I don't care about what you got going on, how much money you make, how much money you don't make, who you're married to, who you're not married to, who you're with, who you're not with, what you look like, what you don't. I don't give to Fs. I don't care. I've been told you all I don't care. I don't address people subliminally. It's going to be direct, just like I'm doing now. And if you're in my face, I'm going to tell you direct. It ain't no, oh, you know, you know, John is like this. You know, Peter. Da, da. Nah, I'm going to tell you, Peter, I don't give two Fs. I don't like you because you're two-fisted. Do whatever the F you want to do. Go, go find some, go find your manhood or something. You're out here bullying a woman. Coming after a woman relentlessly because you want to prove that you're you, you, you're you're in charge. You're the man. The man of who? You, you're the woman. You and I are not together. We'll never be together. Someone hired you to do something. You took it personal. Now you're coming. Like leave me alone. You and I. I don't care who you are. King of Pentacles. King of Wands. King of Cups. King of Swords. Whoever you are. I don't care. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to work with you. Or I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing to do with any of you. You keep collaborating to cause problems for me and I'm not even doing nothing to you. Keep ignoring you. The heck you coming after me for? Because you lie. You need to lie to stick. Oh, she's mentally incompetent. <laughs> Biosh. Maybe I can run circles around all of you with my mental. You're so smart you couldn't see that coming together to take one person down is cowardly as heck. It says loudly, we are intimidated by this one person. It takes all of us to take this one person down. But we're not able to because they're heavily protected and they're not paying us any mind. Everything we do, they just dismiss us. They disregard us. If somebody is disregarding you, what does that say? You're not even like you're not even worth the, 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 the effort for them to even comment or nothing like that. You've been doing something repeatedly. When did I ever say anything to you? Or I even tried to help one of you. That, hey, I don't know what kind of a business agreement you got with these people, but you may want to be careful. It's not what you think it is. Still went and partner up with those people, didn't you? Now look at you. You, you. you all failed to heed the word of wisdom. Like you've been determined to destroy my ten of pentacles. Like I, I, you, you destroy one, I build another one. You destroy it, I build another one. Like, w like, what is your obsession? What is your obsession with a foreign little girl? Like, you have some type of obsession with a foreign black girl that you just don't know how to let go. That you've never had any type of romance with somebody. You and somebody do not have a contract together. You're obsessed. You got to be in their energy. And somebody is not even reciprocating the energy you have for them. Because your energy is nasty as heck. You're obsessed with someone. It don't even make no sense. Like, I've been told you all. Leave me alone. I don't want nothing from you. I don't care if you're a millionaire, billionaire trying to come towards me with, with an off. I don't want nothing from you all. Leave me alone. These pathetic women you have around you that are so intimidated by other women. 
They got to prove that they're impressive. I don't, I don't, I, I don't got time for none of that. I ain't never been somebody that compete for nobody or anything. That's why I built my, I built what I want. If I want something, I go and get it. I don't, I don't got to have my hand out to people. Give me this, give me that, give me that. Because people, they just be waiting for those opportunities so they can use it against you. You know I gave her $200. You know I gave her $5,000. You know what? Here's your $200. You can have it back. Leave me alone. I don't want nothing from you all. I don't want to work with you. Don't want to be part of your family dynamic. Don't want to be part of your institution. I don't want to check from you. I don't want nothing from you. Leave me alone. I'm not asking you for nothing. But to leave me the mother effing heck alone. That's not too much to ask for, is it? Is that too much to ask for? You want a ten of pentacles from a man to you want a man to give a queen of wands reverse a ten of pentacles? Go ahead and get it from him. I don't care. Like, leave me and my babies alone. Like you all have seen, we don't fool with nobody. We literally keep to ourselves. Not one day can you all say we ever did anything to you. We need you to work with us so he can believe that she's false. Let me be false in peace. Let me be false in peace. If I'm so false, you shouldn't have to worry about proving that I'm false. Because eventually, my false nature is going to be on full display. People can only pretend to be what they're not for so long. So if I'm pretending to be a real empress or a high priestess, it's going to be exposed. The universe don't care about fake stuff. Authenticity is something that's very important to the universe. So if I'm being inauthentic, not being myself, pretending to be gifted and things like that, it's going to come out. It's called natural occurrence. The natural way of things is always going to be balanced out. But you all know it's authentic because I'm saying conversations you're having in private and I don't even F with any of you, don't even talk to you, not on the phone, not in email, not nothing, no text me. I don't even talk to you. So how do I know what it is you're saying behind the scenes, what you're doing behind the scenes if, if I'm faking it? Even if I'm faking it, what, did I got, what does that got to do with you all? Who who hired you and said, hey, you got to be the one to prove that this person, you got to let the world know this person is fake. Who put you in that position? Because even if I was fake, what did I do to you? Nothing. You're intimidated. Just say that. We're intimidated by this person. It took a, it took a whole institution. It took a whole family. It took, took a whole toxic dynamic of people to come up against one person. You keep coming after me and I keep getting away from you. Letting you loud and letting you know loud and clear. I don't want to be associated with you all. I don't care what it is you think of me. It don't make me no difference. It don't make me no difference what you think of me. I validate myself. It's always been like that. I don't care who tell you different. I ain't never need a validation from anybody. I know who the F I am. Okay? Baby, I've been on my own since I was 18. Making, it, making things work since I was 18. Pouring into myself. Learning life the hard way. The school of life. What you see today is, is a woman that had to become a woman through trial and error. Leave me alone. I don't want nothing from you all. I don't care if you're the, my mother, my brother, sister, boss, ex-bosses, ex-managers, supervisors. Who I don't want nothing from. Leave me alone. If you owe me money, give me my money and be gone. I don't, I don't want to partner up with any of I don't want nothing from you. I don't want to be part of your institution. I don't want to be part, in, part of your collaborations. I don't want to be in a relationship with you. I ain't looking for nothing from any of you. Why I'm doing my work is my business. Why I choose to do divination is my business. You're all trying to stop 
my business because you know it's authentic. It bothers you. This person shouldn't have this much asset access to information. I didn't decide that. The universe decided that because of my heart. Your hearts are dark. You don't have access to what I do because your hearts are not pure. You're dark as heck. Dark people do what it is you all do. Name one day in your life where I went out of my way to do any of the things you've done to me, to you. You can't even name one. Never called you a name. Nothing. Never stole from you. Nothing. Nothing, baby. Nothing. You can't name one. But you're so bitter and so hateful, you wake up every day trying to figure out how to destroy my babies and eyes. And we ain't done nothing to you. Y'all be seeing us. Like we literally, it's like we're not even there. Neighbors are obsessed invading our privacy. Maintenance people, maintenance guy obsessed invading privacy. Like, what is yours problem? Mailman invasion of privacy, uh, redirecting mail. What is yours problem? Grow up. How are you, some of you even parents? Like, how do you even discipline your kids when they do wrong is that like, oh you, you you shouldn't do that to that person but you're doing the same like don't bully people but you're out here bullying people what is wrong with you people how do you even teach your kids how to be a uh, 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 decent people when you all aren't even decent you don't even know how to be decent to people you're bothered by somebody you're out here pretending to be religious you're out here pretending to be in the upright but because you see somebody that actually lives in the upright, that bothers the demon within you. We got to stop this person. If this person makes it, we're all doomed. Why are you doomed? Change your ways. Change your ways. Leave me alone. I don't want nothing from you all. I ain't trying to build with any of you. This is why I built by myself. It don't matter how hard it is. I wake up every day, put in the effort, learn what I need to learn. You're, you're invading my phone to see what it is I watch, what it is I do, so you can acquire the same knowledge. I, you never will. All of my knowledge was acquired before this journey began with all of you. So what I know, you'll never have. Uh, I was prepped for this before it happened. There's a reason why when you all take action against me, I don't say nothing. I don't do nothing. I just keep it pushing. Because I was prepped ahead of time for you all. So you're taking all these malicious actions. Trying to give me fire. Trying to, trying to do me something. Take me out. Whatever. You're not succeeding for a reason. I was prepped ahead of time. That's why you don't understand checkmate. You're still out here throwing wrecking balls. And the wrecking ball is not causing the kind of damage that you want it to. Because you just don't realize it's... Realize that it's been checkmate by the universe a whole long time ago. There's never going to be a day in you all's life where you will see my kids and I out on the street begging for money. You never will. You will never see me on my knees doing anything funny for money. Never have, never will. Never have felt the need to. Never will feel the need to do that. There will never be a day I would get with somebody for money. Never have needed to. I think I'm fairly decent looking enough to get a decent guy. He don't got to be rich. Okay? You will never see me online doing anything funny for money. Never have, never have, never have, never will. Never have had to. And I never will. No matter how broke I've ever been, baby, you ain't never going to catch me doing that. If I'm not dating somebody, baby, it's celibacy until I date the next person. Celibacy, not selling a bit. I ain't never been no selling a bit kind of woman. So I don't know who told you, because I picked up on that. I don't know who told you all that I'm out here reckless and do this. And I, don't, I, ain't, I ain't never moved like that my whole life. Never. So whoever told you that lie, you need to go ask them some questions. I ain't never been that kind of woman.
I don't know what your problem is. You need to go figure it out, but it's not me. I don't got nothing to do with you all. You don't like how I talk? I don't care. I don't care. Leave me alone. Whatever money you're trying to get, steal, go ahead and have it. Whatever property you're trying to steal or you stole, go ahead and have. Leave me and my babies alone. That's all I... Listen, you coming after someone, you don't stole from them, try to steal from them again, and they're just telling you, like, leave me alone. Whatever you stole, go ahead and freaking have it. You want a man? Go ahead. I don't know who the man is. Somebody's trying... Girl, go ahead. Have that man. I ain't never been desperate for a man in my life. Again, baby, I ain't that bad looking. You see the picture up there, that YouTube thumbnail. Gorgeous as can be. But just because I'm beautiful don't mean I'm just out here available for anybody. Maybe that's what pissing somebody off amongst you. That you can't just have me at any time. I'm not just going to be, oh, <laughs> you're good looking. Spray my leg. Nah. Not all women that are beautiful are like that. Some of us have standards. I, I'm not even somebody that likes to pull attention to my beauty, but baby, if it's bothering you all that much, it is what it is. I didn't. I, I was born this way, <laughs> okay? I was born this way. I grown myself to be the way I am. Say whatever the heck I have to say, because once upon the time, I didn't have a voice. So I learned how to give myself a voice. And I ain't finna shut my voice up for... I ain't giving my power away to nobody. I don't care how much money you have. Or how angry you are. Or how powerful you... I don't give to... F. I'm gonna tell you what the F I have to say. Like it or not. Leave me alone. It's that simple. Leave me alone. Go heal. Whatever I'm working on, you don't know about is going to be successful. You ain't never gonna have your hands on it. I know I know your tactic is to get ahead. Let's stop them from responding to this email so they don't get this job. Whole time something else is being built elsewhere. You don't know nothing about. You never will know anything about. It's gonna get to where it needs to. You're pathetic as hell. You're coming after a woman. And you're so relentless. You got to prove to your community that you're going to fulfill the promises that you made to an unhinged creature, a woman, insecure as can be, somebody's wife. You made a promise to them that you will what, have me bounded. You, I'm, not, I'm not your property. I don't belong to you. I belong to the Most High. And by the judgment of the Most High, I am deemed to be freed. Born free, live free, die free. I move to my own beat. Whether you all like it, don't like it, I don't care. I really don't. And I hope you guys get to a place in your lives where you don't care what people think of you. What you eat, what you talk to, what you wear, who, you, who you're who you dating, who you're married to, what kind of car you drive. That's a freaking headache. It's a full-time job. I'm aware what, I, what, what looks good on me. I'm going to talk to who's nice to me. I'm going to date who I love and loves me back. I'm going to drive the car that I paid for with my own money. Okay, I'm going to live in the neighborhood that I want to live in and feel safe in. I'm going to do the job that makes me feel happy. I don't care what anybody thinks. Leave me up. Leave Cynthia alone. I know they bother you. Leave me be. Leave me be a bag. Leave me be. I'm not looking for a relationship. You see, baby, I've been single celibate for freaking going on six years. And I don't feel no ways about it. And the crazy part is, four of those years, I was living with somebody and didn't care to have him touch me. Look, that's how I am. I've always been that way. You're not going to force me in nothing I don't want to be in. Not a relationship, not a job, nothing. If I said no, no means no. I don't know what somebody else told you about me. You're not going to bend my will. I can be living in a cardboard box, cardboard box 
and you come to me and tell me, hey, if you don't do this, and listen, my cardboard box is just fine. I'm going to sleep in this cardboard box until the Most High tells me where to go next. He didn't tell me you were my answer. He didn't lead me to you. So go away. I'm not partnering up with you. There's somebody amongst you. You know I'm gifted. You know I'm scaled as heck. You want to come forward some type of contract, some type of a devious contract with me. I don't want to work with you. You think you got all the details figured out. Like, I hope this, I, she's very attentive to details. I hope she don't know. I'm going to notice it. I'm going to notice it. I already notice it. Like, I can see the paper you're typing up. That's how ungifted I am, quote, unquote. I can see the contract. Let me tear that contract up. <clears throat> I'm not working with you. Even you, you, you tear that contract up and you type up a legit one. I don't want to work with you because I've already seen what you are about behind the scenes. Like I said, my eyes show me everything. I don't want to. I don't want nothing from you people. I don't want a job from you. I don't want money from you. I don't want a friendship from you. I don't want no love from you. Most definitely, I don't want nothing from you. You got these imbalanced women trying to come do me something for a man that I don't want nothing to do with. I'm not an option for. I'm not on that man's menu. I've never been an option for whoever that is. So you're coming after someone relentlessly for no reason. Because you think your husband likes somebody. But the somebody your husband may like don't know your husband. Don't want nothing to do with your husband. It's not entertaining your husband. Never has entertained your husband. Never will entertain your husband. Don't you feel pathetic about that? And then you got a wife out here that wants to take what belongs to somebody else. What is wrong with you? Go fix your mental. You've lost it. Leave me alone. You're obsessed. Let go. Let go. Baby, I'm a one man army. And I'm I'm I can bet you a hundred percent every one of you that's involved in coming after me, you've noticed that. One man army forced to be reckoned with. I'm not going to shy away from who I am. You want to pretend that, uh, you know, you're not into magic because you all do manipulation and deception. Maybe I'm who I am. I'm a light worker. Now, how I go about doing my light working is my business. I'm direct to the point. You don't like it. Hey, change the channel. That's, it is, that's why America is a beautiful place. You got options. You don't like A, go to B. You don't like B, go to C until you get to Z. If Z doesn't work, start at 1. Until you make it to whatever number. You find a number that you like, so yeah, stick with it. But if you turn on my number and the number do not uh, 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 resonate with you, baby, turn off that number. Go to the next number. I hope it works for you. We ain't gonna beg you to stay over here. Thank you for stopping by, but goodbye. One man army. One mother effing man army. One woman army, gender. <laughs> you're, you're not forcing me in nothing. You're not taking away of my free will. You're not going to bribe me to do anything. You're not going to coerce me to do nothing. And I know everybody that took a bribe behind the scenes. I know everybody. Family members, friends, foes, lovers, whoever. I know everybody that participated. F you all. On any day of the week. Okay? You're steady coming after me and I keep walking away. It's like you're, it's like you're chasing me and I'm just walking away. I'm walking, but you can't catch up to me. There's a reason for that. Maybe we're not on the same synchronicity. There's a reason why the most high is creating a bridge between you all and myself. Because what you're trying to manifest for me is not my destiny. I've never been meant to live in like. You're trying to harvest off of me. 
Everything you've gained off of my energy is being stripped, is taken away from you all. Whether it's health, whether it's wealth, everything you took from me is being taken away from you. You cannot keep it. I am calling back. I call back my energy. I take back my energy. I call back my power. I take back my power in that order. As I have said, so shall it be. Leave me alone. Go find you something better to do with your time. Because trying to force Cynthia into a contract, it ain't, it's not something that's feasible for you. Maybe we, this battle here can keep going on to the day I mother effing take my last breath. Every day of those years, I'm going to show up on here. Unless I decide to take a day off, I'm going to show up on here and do my work. Okay? It ain't nothing about it for me. I already found, I already uh, uh, paved a new destiny for me, a new path for myself. So you destroy this one, I already got another option. You destroy that one, I already got another option. That's how I'm. That's how I built my. I've been listen. I've been on my own since I was eighteen. Okay. And what I've learned in those 18 years, always have something else. Even if it's like one cent, if somebody takes your $10 and you got one cent, in, go ahead. If you need to hold on to that one cent until something better come around, do that. You need to go heal. You need help. You're so obsessed with wanting to destroy somebody, destroy a union. Destroy, I don't know who the... Listen, love is love is a beautiful thing, but some of us were not out here desperate to be in a relationship. So you're trying to block love for me, baby. Love is not like the priority. Being in love with a man is not a priority on my list. What is a priority on my list? I've already taken care of, and you will never have access to it. It don't matter who you go to, wherever you can search high and low, you'll never find out what it is. Leave me alone. You're trying to limit my income, limit my networking opportunities, limit who I can talk to, who I can date, who I can. Like, what? Why are you so obsessed with me? Like, I feel like Mariah Carey talking to Eminem. Why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I want to know. Lying that you're sexy me. I ain't never done nothing with any of you. I don't know which one of you said you had a one-night stand. Baby, I don't do one-night stands. Never, ha Baby, I ain't never done a one-night stand in my life. It don't resonate with who I am. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm, what do they call this? CPO, sexual, whatever. Listen, your mental got to be up to part. If it's not up to part, we ain't doing nothing. So that means I got to take time to get to know you. The last person I dated, it took four, four months for them to get my number. Like, wh what are we doing here? What are we doing here? You're not forcing me into nothing. I don't feel alone. I don't feel rejected. I don't know half of you that you're trying to... Listen, I don't give two Fs about any of you that you're trying to get to reject me. I don't care. It can be my mother, my brother, my sister, father, whoever. I don't... Listen, I don't care. Because I already analyzed my relationship with each of those people. How have my relationship been with these people? Is this person essential to my growth? Have I already fulfilled my contract with this person? If the answer is yes, baby, I'm not losing no sleep. Even if the answer is yes, I'm not losing no sleep. I don't care. People come and go. People, Some people are in your life for a reason, for a season. Once that season is over, goodbye. No, no hard feelings or nothing. But you've developed, you all have developed some type of obsession and it don't even make sense. It don't make no sense. You're confused. You, you don't know, like, you're confused and living in fear, don't know what direction to take. Because all you do is think about or come up with ways on how to cause me problems. And I haven't done nothing to you. You started a battle 
you're in a battle by yourself. You want attention. No one's giving you the attention. And then you get offended. What? What? Why are you so angry and bitter? Because after everything you've done, like you're you're out here in fear after everything you've done, baby. Guess what? When it's time for me to get married, I'm still gonna get married. My ten of pentacles intact. My children happy. Me happy. Content, fulfilled in life. You're never gonna see us miserable. That's your place. Okay? That's your part to play. Misery loves company. I'm not good company for misery. Baby, I'm too blessed to be miserable in life. You're going to have to find somebody else to be your company. You, 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 you people are so miserable in life. Why are you this miserable? Like, you're going out of your way, costing yourself money, resources, and all kinds of stuff. To what? Cause me problems? And I'm still getting a good night's sleep? Baby, my, my skin is still out here looking wonderful. Eyes still white. Hair still beautiful as always. Like, you still happy on the inside. Heart filled with a lot of love. My mental, mental state is healthy as can be. Like, everything is just perfecto. I don't care how much money I have or don't have, baby. You're going to always find out Cynthia is happy. Because Cynthia's happiness comes from within. Cynthia don't care what's going on with anybody else around her. If you want to talk to me about it, cool. You don't want to, baby. I ain't going to ask you. But I'm happy. Baby, half of the stuff I've been through, it, listen, whatever you are or doing, don't even match up with it. This is like a walk in the park. I'm talking like years of war, losing 60% of family members and things. I don't, I don't made it through all of that. And now I'm walking in the park. And you want me to break down because I'm walking. In. This is a park I'm walking in. You want me to break down and fall apart because you got me walking in the park. But I've already walked through the fire. Come on, make it make sense. What are we doing here? We're getting too old for this childish stuff. Don't you all get tired of doing this nonsense every day? This is what you call family traditions and stuff. Don't you get tired of it? I know some of you do because I've picked up on your energies. You're tired. Your soul is tired. You're obsessed with another person when you should be more obsessed with yourself. Healing. Building for yourself. You, 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 you don't like me because you say I got ego. No, baby. That's called being a self-supporter. Because if I don't support me, I got to deal with mother efforts like you that are out here trying to destroy me. So I definitely got to wake up every day and build myself up. But because you mother efforts ain't going to build me up, you're going out of your way to destroy me for no reason, remember? So yeah, I got to come on here, step out in life every day with my head up high. Because that's where the heck is supposed to be. Not on the ground. And I'm not about to play with any of you. If you come, if you approach me and I feel like I got to be a queen of swords to you, it's on sight. What do you want? Leave me alone. I don't want nothing from you all. How many times have I said that? I don't want nothing from you all. I ain't looking for no friendships. I ain't looking for no apologies. I ain't looking for no closures, no forgiveness, and nothing. I don't care what transpired between you and I. I don't care who you are, whether you're my mother, whether you're my sister, whether you're my godparents, whether you're my social worker, with whoever you are. I don't want no closure from any of you. I don't want no forgiveness. Don't ask me for forgiveness. I ain't asking you for forgiveness. I didn't do no mother effing thing to you. I don't care. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Because since you all say you're Christians. Go in peace and serve the Lord, okay? Let me be at peace within thyself and stay in connection to source. 
You choose your path, I choose mine. Mine is spirituality, yours is religion. You don't live up to par when it comes to your religion, that's your business. If I don't live up to par in my spirituality, that's my business. Why do you feel like my choice is a problem? My spirituality, me having gifts that I've always had. I didn't wake up one day and all of a sudden I could talk to the dead. I didn't wake up one day all of a sudden I could see into the, the future. I didn't wake up one day all of a sudden I could hear people from the others. I didn't wake up just one day and that happened. Baby, I've been like that. The dreamer that dreams the dream. Hi. Why are you so bothered about what other people do with your lives and you're not even content with that self? You don't even know yourself. But I guess that would explain it. When you don't know yourself and you don't focus on yourself, you feel the need to interfere with other people's free will. I've already mastered me. You need to master yourself. Once you master yourself, you'll see hypothetic and ridiculous this whole situation looks every day you wake up and you commit yourself to hindering other people it don't make no sense it's a whole family just obsessed with one person we gotta take this person out we gotta do this secretly so they don't know we're coming i know you're coming i know baby i know you're coming i see all you faces i know you're coming it, it's not no surprise I know. I did this this way today specifically so you all can see, baby. I don't I don't beat around the bush for nobody. I don't need to throw no subliminal messages to you all. I'm gonna I'm going to talk to you directly. Leave me the F alone. I don't want to be associated with you all. I don't want to be affiliated with you all. I don't want to be around you all. I don't care how, how fat a check is. I don't want it. I don't care how prestigious a title or a position is. I don't want it. Leave me alone. I'm very humble. I've always been humble. So the money don't sway me. I don't see money. I'm like, oh my God, there's a million dollars. There's a billion dollars. I've never been that way. I've always been humble. I don't ask my ancestors for more than I need. Never been. And I can do that. I can manifest whatever the heck I want. And you all know that. You've seen it. That's why you've been so gun ho on uh, uh, trapping me. Because of my gift of manifestation. I can ask for whatever the heck I want from the ethers. But I'm so humble with the stuff, I only ask them for exactly what I need. You say, hey, I just want security. I don't got time for all this flashy lifestyles and stuff. Like, just, just security. Oh, that's all you want? We got it. We got you. But you're so greedy. You think you see a genie. I guess I'm supposed to be the genie. You're supposed to rub the, 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 the bottle 24-7 to get... Nah. No, no, no. I'm not that kind of genie. Baby, you don't got three wishes with me, let alone 200 wishes. I decide if you get a wish from me or if you don't. I don't know how the other genies do since you go out or see me as a genie in a bottle. I'm a mystical creature. Oh, everybody's obsessed with Cynthia because Cynthia has spiritual gifts. Cynthia can manifest whatever she wants. So I'm a genie in a bottle. Leave me alone. You come to me, I I'm not granting you no wishes. Your hearts are not pure. Whatever you stole from me is cursed. What do you want? What do you want? What, how did you think this scenario was going to play out? That's what I'm freaking wondering. You heard Britney Spears. I'm a genie in a bottle. You got to rub me. I don't even want you all rubbing my bottle. Because when I come out, I'm going to be pissed off as hell. Oh, you've woken me up from slumber. Why did you wake me? I have. I would like to make... No, you cannot make no wish. You cannot make no wish. Leave me alone. You're too old to be doing this stuff anyways. Some of you are in your 40s, your 50s, your 60s. 70s bullying and you don't feel no ways about it you wake up every day and do the same thing bullying somebody 
oh, we're going to keep doing this until she she stops, uh, until she gives up. She's going to, no, I'm not going to give up on nothing. Baby, go heal. Go heal. But you want to argue. I don't want to argue with you, baby. I'm tired. Tired of the nonsense. Tired of the insecurities from your part. Tired of your lack of masculinity. What happened to men in society? You are a whole man bullying a woman. And you want to be seen as successful at it. You want to be seen as tough. I took down this star seat. I took down this empress. Are you listening to yourself? I took down this woman. You listening to yourself? You got to prove yourself to your boys. You got to prove yourself to your community. And the whole time the community is looking at you like you're a clown for what you're doing. You don't even realize it. Like you're just so gun hog on destroying somebody to prove that you're better than them. It's a whole woman you're trying to prove that you're better than. The men in society are supposed to be leaders. But nowadays they spend more, 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 most of their time destroying the lives of the women around them. Don't come with no substance. Nothing. They're not the patriarch of the families anymore. They're too busy trying to start revolutions with women. Gossiping with women. Tearing women down. Talking down to women and things like that. It's a man amongst you all that hates independent women. So maybe you met me and I took care of myself and you wanted me to have my hand out to you. I didn't have my hand out to you. Maybe I didn't build myself like that. I'm, I, I'm not, I didn't grow myself to be that way. I grow myself to go get it. If I don't have it right now, go get it, Cynthia. Go work for it. And if you work for it and you still can get it, that means it's not time yet or maybe it's not meant to be. Not because someone is hindering me, but because it's not time yet. So it's a man amongst you that's bothered by my independence, my self-sufficiency, being a self-starter. What, what, what does that got to do with the price of tea in China? I'm not your wife. I'm not your girlfriend. I'm not nothing to you. Why is my life uh, 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 important to so important to you. How I take care of myself. How is that relevant to you? How is it that what I do for myself with myself? How is it relevant to you? You don't even have an answer to that. Why are you all so stuck on me? Cause I'm unique. Cause I'm eccentric. Okay, you've lost your mental stability because you're so like desperate to take somebody down, humble somebody. That's not where I'm meant to be. Again, my ten of pentacles is intact. Yours is about to be worth falling from grace. A kingdom will fall, remember? But first, all these calamities must what? Come to pass. A mother and son relationship will be no more. The bottle will miss his companion. The mansion will become what? A four by eight cell. Okay, strange fruits will what? Hang from the trees. What? The sick will seek healing, but will not find it. All these things must come to pass. And then a new kingdom will arise. So your kingdom is coming to an end. I don't put everything together now. You've been coming after me, apparently. <laughs> I was in denial before I said, God, nah, no, 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 it cannot be. It, it cannot be. It cannot be. I know these mother effers ain't been coming after me like this. But apparently you are. Apparently you are. Trying to limit my options. You've done this before to people. It don't make no sense. You've done it before. You're angry because your plans aren't working. Everything you come up with is not working. You're in distress. You said, I've done everything to take this person down. I've done everything to tear this person. Why are you, why are you living your life just to tear other people down? Can you imagine people doing what it is you are doing to me? You wouldn't even last a day in my shoes. 
But every day you wake up and you do the same thing. And I still wake up and smile. I still wake up and, you know, live my life the best I can. But if it was the other way around, you wouldn't last a day in my shoes. Not even as the man that you see yourself to be. It's supposed to be tough. But spent one day in my shoes, you wouldn't last. You get pissed off and burst, like spaz out. Three of swords. I'll F you up if you ever do that. You ever see me spaz out? And it's a whole bunch of you coming after me. You ain't never seen me spaz out, did you? No, 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 no. You've been taking turns like a, a whole, like not even ten, like numerous people hiring strangers, family members, friends, whatever you can think of. Just coming after me relentlessly. And you never saw me lose my temper, spaz out once. Catch a cut of attitude, yeah, but spaz out, no. None of you can say I, I, I spazzed out on you. I, I went along. I said, you know what? This is this is this season of my life. There's something here for me to learn. So I'm just going to go ahead and go get along with it. Go along with it. See how far they're willing to take this. Found out you all don't got no boundaries. You got no limits on what you'll do to see other people down. You, you got no boundaries. But still, what, baby girl, baby boy? I'm healed. I'm loving. Secure. Still in connection with my higher self. Still balanced. Still loving. Okay? Still healthy. Somebody's been waiting to see my skin change or something. I don't know what you did. Maybe you tried to poison me. Maybe you ain't never going to see this beautiful melon change into nothing but what it is. As a matter of fact, every time you see it, it's going to look better and better and better. Just popping. You see that right there, baby? It ain't never going to change. You want to see my face? Look at that, that, that picture in the uh, the profile picture, baby. That's how I look. That, that picture is a little too light. I'm, I'm, I'm more so on the chocolate side of things. But it's the lighting. But you, you, got, you get the idea. You ain't never going to see me living... With my skin all destroyed. No, baby, I'm always show up looking you know, fantabulous. And you can you can spass out about it all you want. Because I know there's a queen of swords behind the scene. She's queen of wands behind. Can want to cuff behind cuss behind the scene. Or in, in reverse. You got a problem with how I look. Like I can change it or something. Like, I can just take my face and, oh, here, you can have my face. Like, you, you just got a problem with who I am. But, and then, because you got a problem with who I am, I'm just supposed to hate myself. Like, oh, you know, <sighs> Alicia doesn't like me, so, um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't like myself anymore. Ancestors, I would like you to change my face or something. I would like you to change my heart because Alicia needs to approve of who I am. No, no, nah, girl, we don't get to ask what you think about us. Every time you see me, hi. Smooth skin, clean, healthy, happy, smiling. It's what you're going to see. I've seen some of you probably even said hi to you. <laughs> you thought I didn't know who you were. Now I know who you are. <laughs> hi. It's like you just don't get it. Got people following me in grocery stores. Go to the library, they're there. Go for a walk, they're there. Go to the park, nature. Go on the trail, they're there. Like everywhere, folks. Go out to eat, they're there. They just want... It started off of them wanting me to know that they were watching me. They wanted me to feel uncomfortable. I said, I, I know any grown folks out here acting this way. People following me in cars. While I'm walking, following me around. Trying to make me feel uncomfortable. Wanting me to know that everywhere you go, we got eyes on you. I don't care. Keep on watching. Your heart is going to be broken because you see me. I'm going to still be vibrant. Still vibrant. Okay. You can keep taking these reckless actions and things, but every time you see me, vibrant, not depressed, nothing, not sad, 
not pathetic, not feeling lonely, nothing, baby. Always oh, sharp as a two-edged sword. Maybe I'm a little bit too quiet with what I know. That's all. Maybe I need to start revealing more secrets. Maybe I need to start choosing people in your communities and start breaking down their secrets, their lives, from childhood to adulthood. Everything you've been through, trauma and all, since you want to humble people, start telling you all about yourself. What you went through from what you you went through, what you've done from age zero to your age right now. Humble you. Since you want to humble. Remember, I'm the one with the access to information. I just choose not to misuse it. But that don't mean I don't have that capability to do it. I just choose to use my gifts modestly. What do you want? It's like you are have like a load a loaded gun. I'm the loaded gun. You're playing with it. And it just for some reason, the most high is like, you know what? We're going to put a cap with this gun because if this mother sucker pops, <laughs> actually, I'm going to liken me to a black mamba. If you don't mess with the black mamba, it don't mess with you. Okay. Like most snakes, they're solitary creatures. Okay. You go tempering with that black mamba. And if it decides to strike, Black mumbles, they don't just strike one time. They strike you repeatedly. But all they need to do is strike you one time, and that's it. You need to get help, I think, within like 30 minutes to an hour. And if you don't get help, you're done. Their venom is very potent. Okay? So I'm like a black mumba. You don't temper with me, I don't temper with you. You keep tempering with me and I decide to strike back, I'm going to hit you back repeatedly. Repeatedly. And I know exactly how to hit each, each of you. You think you got money, you got power, you got uh, numbers. But maybe I know how to hit each of you. Repeatedly. Where you will feel it. You won't even want to walk out anymore. You've been doing something for a long time that I ever address you all. No. Quit pushing me. Because some of you think because you're not in my energy physically that I can't pick up on you. Maybe I just need to see your face. And I know what a lot of you faces look like. All I got to do is look at your faces. I already have photographic memories. When I have visions of you all, I have a photographic memory of you all. So all I got to do is see your face and I can read you for you. Leave me alone. You've been playing with magic. You don't really know what magic is. You've been pretending to have skills and abilities. You don't know what those are. Some of us choose to be asleep, sleeping giants. Because when we decide to act, it's not so cute. We go from being cute and fluffy to this and when we're done we can go right back to this with no problem and that's the thing that confuses a lot of you is that wait how do they just do that how, how can they just switch energy like that it's a talent leave me alone because when I when I start pulling on you all's energy telling who's cheating on who Who's into same sex relationships and things like that? And I will describe you head to toe, skin tone, won't miss a beat, eye color, and everything. Whether you have a mole or you don't have a mole, I will describe you from head to toe and let everybody know what you do behind closed doors, who you do with. You don't want me to be petty. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You don't want me to be petty because my pettiness will. Leave a sting. It'll leave a mark. You don't want me to be petty. But I can't listen. You don't want me to be petty. You all have a problem with how I talk and things like that. That's the least of your problems to worry about when it comes to me. You don't want me to be petty with you. 
Leave me alone. You're trying to hide me. Baby, I, I, I ain't hitting. You, you just don't know. I'm not hitting. <laughs> Woo! You're trying to limit my options. I'm not limited. I'm not li Listen, I'm telling you. I am not limited. I am not limited. Never have been. Never will be. You're under an illusion. Get out of the... Baby, get out of the illusion. I'm telling you the truth. You're under an illusion. You don't want me to be petty. Like, you are trying to get some type of reaction out of me. But the reaction you get out of me... Baby, I'll read you diplomatically with tactfulness. But it's going to hurt you so bad. You won't even want to be seen for a long time. I don't got to call you any type of bees or anything like that. If I decide to scoop to your levels. Quit bothering me. Quit coming for me. Leave me alone. I am going to get on here to cry for I don't give to ask about none of that. I'm not in sorrows. You got me effed up. One in too many ways. Leave me alone. I don't got no emotional attachment to anybody in your community. Anybody you've bribed, I don't care. I don't give to us what they do. It's like I'm supposed to be shocked. <gasps> this person accepted bribery. She's going to be shocked about this that they're not working with. I don't give to us. I don't care. Leave me alone. You don't want me to be petty. Leave me alone. You don't want me to be petty. Leave me alone. You don't want me to be petty. Because you're trying to get a reaction out of me you don't know that you don't want. It's, it's unsafe for you. Some of you got secrets you don't want people to know, but I already know them. And I'm sitting here like a loaded, like a loaded gun. Really ready to pop out at any time. But I keep, you know, like, like you know what says you're disciplined. Keep, keep quiet. Some of you walking around with diseases you got from spreading for everybody and anybody. But you're too, you're so focused out here trying to expose other people. Focus on yourself. You're out here sleeping with each other husbands and things like that. Focus on yourself. You don't want me describing you to the T. You don't want me doing that. You call yourself narcissist, baby. I know how to handle a narcissist. I hurt your feelings real quick. Leave me alone. I'm the antidote to a, a narcissist. They don't like me. I had one that thought he had one over, baby. He cannot stand my behind. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> you're out here with your faces sunken in because you're so desperate to have somebody's energy. And it ain't going to help you. That's your karma you're going through. Your sickness that you have, that's your karma. Your face is going to keep sinking in. The lips all shriveled up and things like that. And you still want to be desperate into somebody's energy. Come on. Looking like you don't got no teeth in your mouth and stuff. Okay? Leave me alone. You're looking for someone to be weak and feeble. That ain't me. I'm showing up in this Queen of Wands for a reason. I've never been that. Maybe you thought I was because I because you maybe some of you see me to be a Queen of Cups, which I am. But maybe I got no problems with putting out a Queen of Swords energy on anybody. I don't care who it is. You can be my mother. If you cross me, Queen of Swords, you can call my mommy and ask her. She'll tell you. I'm quick to tell. To, uh, baby, come on. I don't do it disrespectfully, but I'm going to tell you in a way where you get it. So you don't make that mistake again. Leave me alone, people. Go find something better to do with your time. You're desperate to control people. You don't got no control of yourself. You're desperate to be seen as wholesome. You're not wholesome. 
You don't want me exposing your secrets. Because you've been doing something for a long time. And I've been sit, sit, sitting quiet, shutting my mouth. I know your secrets. I'm talking about the deepest, darkest secrets you don't... Some of you, you had a hand in somebody passing away. You don't want those secrets out. You don't want those secrets out. Leave me alone. How are you going to deem someone to be incompetent but you're just obsessed with them? How can somebody be incompetent but you're obsessed with them? Don't that make you incompetent? Don't that make you stupid? You said somebody is stupid. They're illiterate. They don't know what they're doing. What does that make you when you're obsessing over them and stalking them everywhere they go? Everything they do, you want to know 24-7. Don't that make you incompetent and illiterate as well? Because you're not learning nothing from that incompetent and illiterate person. So what, what what's your deal? Are they incompetent or are they not incompetent? Are you stupid or dumb? It don't make no sense, does it? No. No. You're obsessed with stealing from somebody. Like, it don't make no sense. It's a whole couple, a whole family out here obsessed with stealing from somebody that they deem to be beneath them. If you see me to be beneath you, why would you even want to be attached to anything that has to do with me? Why? If I'm beneath you, why do you want something that belongs to me? Why? Because then I don't bring nothing to the table, right? If I'm beneath you, I don't got nothing to offer. I don't got no substance to myself. I'm classless. I'm tacky. I'm all these things beneath you. So why do you want what belongs to me? We didn't build it together. I didn't ask you for a help. I've never really even spoken to anyone and told them that I had a platform. Maybe one or th one person. Most of the people that see me in my day-to-day -day life, they don't even know I do social media. You, whoever you, we didn't build nothing together. You see what I do as abundant, go build your own. Go build your own, but your obsessed with stealing from somebody. You, you want what's mine? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You got a problem with my confidence. Am I supposed to have low self-esteem because I'm this color or something? Or because, what, I come from a third world country, so I'm supposed to be humble? I'm humble, but not in the way that I'm humble to the most high, but not to any motherfucking person, excuse my French, that bleeds red like me. Go throw rocks and kick peppers. I'm humble, but to the most high only, not to anybody else. Baby, I'm going to wake up every day and be my number one fan. Sorry you're not your own number one fan. I'm glad you're one of my fans, but you need to go get a life. Because this is what it is. You're all groupies. You're obsessed with one person. I'm trying to imagine myself being a groupie or something. And I'm not even famous. And I'm not even a millionaire. Get in there someday. But right now I ain't a million. What, what, what's the obsession? Why are you a groupie? It don't make no sense. You don't like my confidence, but you want to have confidence. It don't make sense. You hate my positivity, but you want to have... What? It don't make no sense. Is that we got to humble this person. Why are you so focused on humbling somebody else? Like I said, I'm never going to be humble for anybody but the most high. Because that's the only being that's there when I need it to be there. 
that's unconditional love any day of the week. I can F up in the worst way possible and the most high will still be there. Like, hey, are you doing okay? No, I'm not doing okay. That's okay. We got you. Any of you mother Fs, let me F up one day. I didn't even do anything to you all and you're coming after me like this. With full force. I mean, going all out. But let me get in your energy and F up one day. Oh my goodness. You know she did this. Can you believe she... We were best friends two seconds ago. But here it is now. I f up once. And the relationship is over. But with the most high baby, that relationship is unconditional. That's why I f with the most high. I don't get to ask about nobody else but the most high and my babies. That's it. Until I meet somebody that proves loyalty, I am loyal to no mother effing person, but the most high, because I see how people move. Like I said, I know everybody that took bribery behind the scenes. I know everybody that was coerced into doing something. So I'm loyal to me, my babies, and the most high. That's it. Ancestors, spirit, spirit guides. If it ain't one of those, maybe kick rocks and throw peppers. You're trying to control my income. Oh, she can't work that job. And the most half looking at you like, you can't live that long. One of you about to pass away. All for effing with me. She can't work that job. You can't live that long. She can't be in love. You can't have that marriage you've been in. It's toxic anyway. Divorce. Ten of Pentacles. Like I said. Someone's angry because they can't destroy my Ten of Pentacles. Been taking reckless actions. It's like I'm going to keep slowing this down until they give up. Baby, I ain't never going to give up on me. I'm my number one fan. And I don't care how any of you feel about it. Three of Swords. Six of wands reversed to the ten of pentacles. You're pissed off because you don't know my plans. You're pissed off because your plans against my ten of pentacles are not victorious. I will always be prosperous. I already spoke that into existence before I had to deal with this nonsense you all are doing. I will always be prosperous. I am an abundant person, naturally. People benefit from being around me, genuinely. Once they, once they start trying to manipulate energy around me, that's when their lives start falling apart. And instead of them realizing that, oh, I shouldn't have manipulated this person. I shouldn't have tried to manipulate energy around this person. That's when my life is falling apart. No, they'll be in denial. Oh, it's because of them my life is falling apart. No, 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 no. It's you. There's some type of ridiculous mindset someone has been feeding people. Oh, if you're nice to her, uh, you do something good to her, uh, you get blessings. But... The way you're going about being nice to the person is disingenuous. So the universe isn't going to bless you. You're cursing yourself. But I know what I am. I know what I am. There's some of you, there's some of you amongst, there's some amongst your community that consider me to be a lucky charm. They say, oh, that's a lucky charm. Oh, we got to keep this person trapped so that we can keep, uh, uh, Benefit enough of their energy, not realizing you're cursing yourself the whole time. Because, baby, that ain't my destiny. I didn't tell you I wanted to be trapped. I didn't tell you to manifest off of me. I didn't give you permission to manifest off of me. So, whatever you, you gain off of my energy without my permission, it's taken away from you. You cannot keep it. Return, re return it to me. That's my blessing. That's my abundance. I didn't give you permission to keep it, so you'll lose it all. Anything you took from me or try to take from me is being taken away from you. Your obsessions, you need to figure out how to heal from that. I can't help you with that one. Some of us are just fabulous because we put the work in ourselves. So we're, we're baby, we're just the sauce. And we're not going to wake up and decide not to be the sauce because you feel uncomfortable with us being the sauce. We're the sauce for a reason. We put flavor into ourselves. Okay, we put a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. We became the sauce. It took time for us to put a little bit of this and a little bit of that. 
it ain't happening overnight. And that's why when you're coming for light workers and they tell, give you a piece of their mind, they don't feel no ways about it because they know exactly what it is they have to go through to get to where they are. It ain't happening overnight. So when you're trying so hard to destroy them and you see them just minding their business, getting on with their work, and if they decide to say something, they give you a cold, they don't feel no ways about it. It ain't nothing you can say to them to make them feel any ways about it. I.E. example, I don't get to F's what it is you all think of me. And I don't care who you are. You can, my, Like I already said, mother, sister, whoever, I don't care. I don't care. I am looking for nothing from nobody. Not a marriage from a proposal from anybody. I've already said it. I don't want nothing from you all. Not the money. Not nothing. Leave me alone. Leave me in my journey alone. Leave me in my destiny alone. Leave me in my business alone. Leave me in my spirituality alone. We're not looking for you. You don't want to heal, that's fine. We're here to heal people that want to be healed. You're not there yet, so we're not focused on you. So if what we say, the things we do bothers you, that means, again, ma'am, sir, you're not healed yet, you're not ready yet. So go away. Leave the seat for the people that do want to be healed, that do want to acquire knowledge, for, that do want to have access to secret information that most people don't. How to heal yourself. Because we're all too codependent on other forces to heal us. Things that we can do ourselves, the world has us codependent on other people to do for us. It's nice to go to a counselor, but learn how to heal yourself too. So when that counselor is not available and you're not comfortable with anybody else, you know what to do to heal yourself. That's what people like me teach. And you got unhinged people like you out here trying to block the rest of the world from that kind of information. Because you're not ready yet. You're still in fear. You're still living in chaos and conflict because this is what you've been living in for decades. So that's all you know. You're chasing men because they're good looking. Chasing women because they're good looking. Trying to block love offers because a man is abundant. You don't want a woman to be abundant. But what I, what did I got to do with you? What does that got to do with you, Bessie? All you know how to do is manipulate all of you. Do your whole empress in reverse. You should be embarrassed. A whole empress in reverse. Like I said, I don't, listen, I'm not going to beat around the bush with you or I'm not about to do any type of subliminal messages to you. It's going to be direct. And if you want me to start describing all of you, huh, down to your toenails, we can do that too. We can do that too. How are you going to be coming after somebody but you afraid of them at the same time? It don't make no sense. How are you trying to come after somebody that you are afraid of? It's like a mouse chasing an elephant. But the whole time the mouse is afraid because this elephant can just step on it once and it's done. The elephant don't even have to thumb. It just needs to like... Step on that, that that little mouse and it's done. But the mouse is relentlessly coming after this elephant. The elephant is that leave me alone. You know, the trunk woo, trying to get away from that, that, that mouse. It said, Lord, that creature looks so helpless. I don't want to cause it no harm. So I'm just going to walk away from it. I'm going to go over here with the rest of the elephants. But this mouse, it feels like it can do something. It can do this elephant something. You can't. You can't. It's a reason why elephants move in herds, right? And mice, they typically don't live together. There's a reason why you see elephants in herds. 
there's something being passed down through generations of those elephants. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Cultural traditions, wisdom, again, wisdom being passed down from the matriarch to all the other members, the females in that family. Because typically you have an elephant family, there's one bull and then the rest, there's a matriarch in the family, right? And she passes her knowledge down to everybody else, all the other women in that herd. So wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Some of us have wisdom that not, uh, some of you would never acquire, would never have the privilege of having. Because it's been passed down naturally through the lineage. That's why we can tell you about yourselves. And you can come after us relentlessly and get no reaction like you want to. And you don't understand. I can hurt you with your own life. I can hurt you with your own stories. I can hurt you with your own truth. I chose not to. Leave me alone. Again. You're coming after people and they're seeing you. You're coming after me and I keep seeing you all. It's like the, the universe is like playing some little game with me and say, hey, this is the queen of pentacles reverse. <laughs> this is the queen of wars reverse. This is the queen of cups reverse. This is the king of swords reverse. These are the people doing this. And I'm like, oh, okay. At first, I didn't realize it was me you all were coming for. And I'm like, sure. why did this turn to destroy somebody? And I like how they did it. They revealed it to me a little bit at a time. Remember, there was a time on my channel when I was going to stop doing this, this read because the energy was just too negative. It was bothersome. I don't like negativity and things like this. Waking up every day in negative energy. But they told me to keep going. This is why they wanted me to keep going. Look, I, I can see you all. Leave me alone. You don't know enough about me to hurt me. Even if you knew enough, you can't hurt me. I've healed from everything in my past. I don't care who passed away. I don't care that I went through 12 years of civil war. I don't care that I lost. It's not that I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Let me put it that way. It's not that I don't care. It doesn't bother me that I went through 12 years of civil war. It doesn't bother me that I lost 60% of my family. It doesn't bother me any other experiences that I've had. I've learned to address those. Go address your problems so you don't wake up every day attacking people. Not real. You, you're saying you're attacking somebody because there's a lot of money on the line. Really what it is, you're attacking somebody because you're angry in life. Something happened to you. You never addressed it. You hold in a lot of anger and animosity towards other people. You're angry with yourselves, but you take all of that out on the wrong people. I ain't never did nothing to you, but the people that did something to you, they're walking out here fine and dandy. Why aren't you going after them? But you keep telling yourself it's a lot of money on the line. It's a lot of money on the line. You're going to keep losing money coming after me. Because I ain't going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going to turn my lights off to make anybody feel good about themselves. I'm not giving my power away to make anybody feel good about themselves. Learn how to turn your own lights on. Learn how to form your own pearls. The whole process of a pearl being formed is kind of disgusting. Invasion, but you know, it, it is what it is. The whole notion, what people believe is that the sand turns into uh, the pearl. But in reality, it's an infestation of a parasite, okay, that happens to that pearl. And the parasite, because it ends up not being able to uh, uh, exit, and because of how that pearl is, that, that uh, uh, clam or whatever is built, that animal is built, it calcifies the parasite in there, and that's what becomes a pearl. But, you know, on a normal day, amongst the, the normal belief is that a sand, sand turns into pearl. Maybe that's the more acceptable belief. And there's something about it that makes it, you know, more digestible because nobody wants to 
know or believe that they're wearing a parasite, <laughs> a beautiful parasite. Yeah, but there's the fact that we say it's a it's sand that turns into pearl is more digestible for the public. But go learn how to make your own pearls. However disgusting it may be, go learn how to do it. And if you want to come up with a more digestible story like the world has come up with, and even me, I've used this their, uh, digestible uh, story before uh, as a post on one of my community things, which I deleted all my community things for a reason. But go, 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 go form your own pearls. You're out here trying to take somebody else's. And you don't know what they went through to build, whether it's their building. You just see it as money. You say, oh, it's a ten of pentacles. I should have that. For what? You didn't invest nothing into it. And you think somebody is just going to roll over and just let you take their ten of pentacles. I ain't rolling over for nobody, baby girl. Baby boy, I ain't rolling over for nobody. I'm not a cute little puppy that rolls over for anybody. I've never been that. There's something where you are mistaking our kindness for weaknesses. You mistaken our silence for naivety. I'm neither naive or weak. I am neither naive nor weak. Well, we will fight till the end of me, end of time. But I'm gonna protect what's mine. You're waiting eagerly for the moment that I slip up so you can take what's mine. No, baby girl, no, 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 sir. We won't fight. We're going to fight. Maybe you didn't know, but that's the clarity. Maybe we're going to... I'm going to keep going. I don't care how hard it is. I'm built to power through whatever. Got to walk on fire. We're going to power through it. You're going to see me screaming and everything, but I bet you I'm going to walk across that fire. It's storming. I said, that's okay. I'm going to shiver up, shiver in that storm, but I'm going to get to my destination. It's slippery. I said, that's okay. I'm going to fall a few times. Even if I fall a hundred times, I'm still going to get up and get to my... If I got to crawl on that ice to get to my destination, maybe we're going to get to that destination. <clears throat> okay, we're going to crawl to that destination. So I don't know what it is. And so I, I feel like somebody maybe misguided you all when it comes to moi. But I'm going to tell you myself about me today. I ain't going no mother everywhere. I don't want nothing from you all. You can't have what's mine. I, what did they say? We built this city on rock and roll. Maybe I built this city on hard work and dedication. We built this city on rock and roll. But I built this city on dedication and hard work. Knowledge, learning. I did my learning before you all started doing this mess. And there's somebody that keeps tapping in my phone to see what it is I'm doing so you can report back to the clan, clan before you all were trying to see what it is I was doing so that you could report it back to someone else trying to copy what it is. I, maybe my knowledge was acquired before this battle, this war began. So what I know, you ain't never going to have. Okay. What books I've read, what articles I've read, videos I've watched, you're not going to know because, listen, you're not going to know. I did all my studies before this whole thing began. So you can keep playing the guessing game. There's a reason why you have a hard time perfecting my energy. I have a very unique energy. It's eccentric. It's very, I, I think very abstract i've never met anyone that thinks like me so good luck good luck you about to have people out here confessing the truth to a king of what wands that's in the reverse unsure of himself i don't know what it is someone was supposed to be healing but i guess he hasn't been doing the healing work he is still out here Doing whatever it is he wants to do. Maybe if this is the guy that somebody is obsessed with, because I see a queen of wands that's obsessed with this man. She's single now, wanting to work with this king of wands, wanting to be with this king. Maybe that man is moving on with his life. You're going to have to move on with yours. 
I don't know if he partnered up with you because you enable him to reside in a low vibrational energy where he could bring anyone home. He could sleep with anyone as long as what there was money. As long as you didn't go to, he didn't go to an Empress energy or a star seed, you put on some type of persona, whatever it is. Maybe don't nobody care. You can have that man. So, like, it's a woman that's just so desperate to keep a man. Desperate. You wake up every every day just giving your power away, giving your power away, giving your power away to other people. Just giving your power away. And then you live so unhappy. You're coming after someone that didn't do nothing to you. You, you wrong somebody. And because you don't want to have to face the fact that you wrong somebody... You, you 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 keep doing stupid stuff to make a narrative stick. It don't matter who you tell that I'm incompetent. Baby, I, don't, I know what I am. I know what the heck I am and what I'm not. And I don't, you can take me to the White House and tell the president, hey, she's incompetent. I'm going to tell him, listen, he got me effed up in one and two many ways. I am not incompetent, okay? I don't know what he's talking about. Okay, I'm, I'm like I'm gonna speak up for myself. This is what you are not used to. You're used to beating people down from behind the scenes, and they never get the chance to speak up or speak out. And there are people amongst you that feel the same way, beat down, because you, you you've beat on them for so long, and they don't gotta be physical. I mean, like your words, you've torn people down around you, the very people that work with you. That's why none of you trust each other. Everything is a competition. Nobody likes anybody. But because you got a common denominator to destroy uh, Empress Energy, i.e. moi, you found some type of common ground. All of a sudden, you like each other. You, know, you, you want to hang out together now. Let me put these last two cards on here so I can do a recap. Try to keep coming after me. You think I'm about to do some type of subliminal message or something? No, 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 no. We're going to do this straight, straight, straight on. Head on. Hey, hey, Bob, I'm talking to you. Hey, Peter, I'm talking to you. But I know Bob, Peter, and uh, Lisa are watching, so I'm talking to you all. What, you want me to start using your government names and things like that? Because when I see you in my dreams, your names are being given to me. When you're logging into my computers, I'm seeing your faces. In my phones, I'm seeing your faces. You're putting yourself in my energy. You don't talk over my Wi-Fi and everything. You're controlling... When, how I can use my Wi-Fi. Like, what is wrong with you people? You're sick. So now that I have a full understanding of what's going on, baby, I'm going to get on here every day and do my tarot. So now we're all on the same page and know who, who, what this has to do with. And I am going nowhere. Ask me how I'm doing. I'm blessed. Yes. Always will be. You always have been. Oh, the king. Oh, oh, this king of wands reverse. King of pentacles reverse. King, king of swords likes practicality. Don't know how to be practical. Nothing. Just wants to have his way. I gotta shut this beat down. That's what. He, that's what he says. Like, just angry. It's all about money for him. He's losing everything. Okay? Instead of him wanting to heal, move on, he's choosing to be impractical. He's more so focused on money. Money, 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 money. It's a lot of money on the line. He's probably the one that keeps saying it's a lot of money on the line. Either him or somebody else. 
very materialistic, very, very, uh, 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 just corrupt, a brute. Likes practicality. And it, you got a king of pentacles reverse waiting to do, do, do a queen of wands something or come towards a queen of wands with some type of frivolous offer. Listen, I don't know. I just told you, I don't want nothing from any of you. I don't want no contract. I don't want a business offer. I don't want a business proposal. I don't want nothing. Leave me alone. So I, I already forced a new path for myself. I don't want nothing from you. I forced this path and you came on here and did everything you could to destroy it. And it's still here. I forced another one. You ain't never going to find out about that one, baby. Leave me alone. This isn't a cycle that you that is just going to be over. Like you, you, you're going to have to be so committed that when you get sick, you'll be covering up blood and still be doing what it is you're doing. Because I'm going to stay posting. Stay posting. You got a group of friends. I don't know if they're listening to their intuition now, but the truth when it comes to a queen, king of wands in the reverse. More than likely working with a king of pentacles in reverse as well. To what? Do something to a queen of wands. Hi. But why are you all this dedicated to sabotage somebody's life? Their livelihood, resources, connections, abundance, plans, everything, children, pets. Heck, if I had a dog, you probably wouldn't want that dog eating too. So you, you can sit, you can tell people, uh, you can tell uh, people that I, I'm not taking care of the dog or something. Order the dog food. You, you say, hey, don't deliver the dog food to them. This is what they were doing at one point, y'all. My kids and I would literally be trying to order food to eat. And they will bl block it. Cancel the account. Can't access our account. Nothing. Trying to order groceries. Blocked. It don't make no sense to be that hateful. Ordering stuff out on my bank account. Just hateful. Because they want me to feel uneasy. I don't. You feel uneasy and bothered by me. I am unbothered. The, some of you, you feel like you won the battle. Baby, I wasn't focused on the battle. I was focused on the war, which I already won. You just didn't realize it. Distraction. What my Ten of Pentacles is, you ain't never going to be able to touch. Never. So you've been going all out, blocking opportunities for me, not wanting people to connect with me, trying to isolate me. And the whole time I've been watching you, like, shoot, yeah, keep doing that, listen. As long as you don't know what I'm doing over here, keep doing that. Cutting off internet, phone services. You ever went to pay your phone bill at the, the, the phone company and they said they don't have access to your account because someone unhacked it, took charge of it? Hi, yeah. I went to pay my phone bill and it was like, we, I can't access your account. What do you mean you can't access my account? This is the phone company I'm with, right? Your name is right there on the building. You say, yeah, but we can't access it. So we don't know like what's going on. Because somebody don't hack the system to be able to have control of my phone. When I make calls, they cut it off. I can't talk to people, I can't text people, can't email people, can't receive emails and things like that. Just too, just crazy. People causing damages in the in my like apartments and things like that. So they can have a reason to come into my apartment to disturb my peace. I, I told that maintenance guy, listen. I know it is an effort to disturb my peace. I was trying to play along with you as long as possible, but my patience is a little, my patience is running uh, thin these days. Okay? Let me know when you can fix the ceiling. Feel free to slide a note under the door. It's like, why are you always focused on disturbing my peace? 
I'm one person. You see me every day, everything you've been doing, right? I still walk out here every day. You want me stuck in my apartment, but I walk out when I need to, when I want to. Maybe I'm a chronic introvert. I only leave the house when I need to. Heck, my baby daddy told me, listen, you, you got to stop living like a grandma. This is how I've always been, you all. Since I was a kid, always kept to myself. You got to stop being a grandma. You got to go out. And then I realized people are trying to isolate me. I'm like, what the fuck? What are we talking about here? They're trying to isolate. Isolate who? Me? Honey, I isolate myself. I don't go out. I don't go out eating, shop, nothing. If I do, it's with my kids and we come right back home. So where's the isolation? Like you're all doing this stuff and I'm still living my life normally. I still go to sleep, get enough sleep. Eat. Okay. It was even something when, when I tried to wash laundry, they turned the machine. I, they'll wait till I put the money in there, turn the machine up. So I got to come home and hand wash my babies and I clothes. It's like I got you all this bothered in life. And you think that after all this, I'm about to be, oh, yeah, I want that position. I don't want no position from you all. You already exposed your character. Don't come to me talking about, oh, this is not what we represent. I don't care what you represent. I don't care. I don't care what you represent. Leave me alone. I don't want no money from you again. I don't want no position. I don't want no friendship. They ain't looking for no love. Nothing. Just like if you all wake up to tomorrow and you decide to just let something go and all of a sudden, sudden things are just back to normal. I don't hear from you. Nothing. Maybe I'll be good with that. that that's my ideal situation. Not to hear from any of you. You're not messing with me. Nothing. You just leave me and my babies alone and we moved on with our lives. I ain't looking for no man in your community. I ain't looking for no man, period. If I wanted a man, baby, it's a 6'4 a chocolate man I can go to. And he'll take care of business. If I was in desperate need of that kind of attention, he'll take care of business. I ain't desperate for attention out here. I ain't desperate for money. I ain't getting married for money. I don't got time for none of that. I'm going to either be happy with you or I'm going to be single. So maybe you all think I'm living in fear. I don't fear none of you. I got one holding on to my money and he thinks, oh, I'm going to get her to call me. She's going to have to call. No, 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 sir. It ain't, it, it, that's, that's, not what, well, that's not what you think it is. Because you want to have control. You are still playing these roles. And you think you're in charge because I stayed quiet. Didn't I warn you ahead of time what you was getting involved in? You didn't listen. Look, I, I, I try to look up. You, you ever met somebody and you resonate with them and you know some type of shenanigans is about to take place? And you're like, sure, I got to look out for this person. So I'm going to just go ahead and handle this quietly. I'm not going to tell him what's going on, how crazy these people are. You know, they're going to be doing a lot of nonsense, trying to get me fired and stuff like that, trying to tarnish his business. But I'm going to do my best to just make sure that, you know, I'm protecting him. So you go out of your way and you tolerate these people bullying and stuff like that. Just for the mother effort to turn on you. Try to make it seem like you're the problem. Start bullying you and things like that. And you're just looking at Mother F. I just went through fire to protect you. And you're out here doing this to me? That, like, you, 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 you all do know I can hear you from a distance when you're talking. My, like, Mother F. I didn't even know I was putting your life to help you. But you saw someone meek and feeble. You said, um, I can't do nothing with, she can't help me. Throw, throw her to the wolves. And the whole time, I'm just sitting there watching. Like, hey, this is the person I was trying to protect. Listen, that's good. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Like, why are you all this 
desperate to have some type of access to me. It's sickening. It is sickening. How can you people be religious but be this angry and hateful in life? What kind of God are you worshiping? Are you even worshiping a God? Because the devil be showing up a little bit too much. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. But I can guarantee you on my life, you ain't never gonna wake up one day and hear that I give up on anything that pertains to me, my calling, my destiny, my purpose, nothing, baby. You're gonna wake up every day and see me working. See me thriving. However long it takes me to get to my destination, that's how long it takes me to get to my destination. You're bugging. My success is not determined by you all's validation. My success is determined by me. What I deem myself to be a success is what it is. It's not what you all think. You're trying to limit my options. You're trying to limit my resources. You're trying to limit my, limit my finances. Baby, I'm not meant to be limited. So you can limit one thing. It's another thing that's going to pop up for me because that's how the universe has it set up for more. So no, I don't lose sleep when you... Oh, yeah, when you call, when my, when my jobs call and you answer the phone and pretend to be me, accept shifts and things like that, and then hang up and then disconnect the phone. So then when my job calls back and they say, this, the phone number you've dialed is no longer in service. Oh, this is how far they've been going, y'all. I used to work as a caregiver, okay? And the company called. <laughs> To offer me shifts. Oh, I'm not listening. Working as a carrier. I worked as a CNA. Um, the company called to offer shifts. Somebody apparently answered. Accepted the shifts. Never showed up, but they accepted the shift. When the company called back to confirm it, it said the number you've dialed is not. It's no longer in service. That's because they had taken charge of my phone services and they were just doing whatever they wanted to do behind the scenes. Never thought it would come out. Just so happened that whoever they were doing it with, Liddy got Liddy is actually a solid Christian. Actually lives up to her Bible. She's not just. She's not a a Bible thumper. That is pretending to be something she's not out like she actually is. Did it a few times. They did it to other companies. The companies maybe just looked and said, uh, something ain't right. They'll you know, when they call to offer me shift, they'll disconnect the call. They said, Oh, I try to get in contact with you. I said, I didn't see any messages. And they don't even know. Like, how do you even talk to people about stuff like that? They say, oh, listen, it's a whole cult of people. People that have lost their goddamn minds coming after me. They don't want me to work. They don't want me to be secure. They don't want me to be happy. So they're blocking opportunities. They're blocking my money. They're blocking my finances. They're tarnishing my character. They're defaming me so that I can come across as being uh, irresponsible. Never been irresponsible, baby. I was, 12, uh, well, 14 years old, started working in a braiding shop. B baby, please, I ain't afraid to work. 12 years old, selling meat on my head in Africa. I ain't afraid to work. Very disciplined. So th this is why you all have a hard time sticking a narrative to me that I'm irresponsible, that I'm incompetent. And unfortunately for you all, I have an eye. I have a third eye that's a little bit too strong. Too, 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 too clear, too strong. So somebody amongst you is bothered by, it. oh, she is terrified. This person cannot be in this field. They're going to know all our secrets. You mean, what do you mean gonna? Girl, it's too late. I'm just responsible with what I know. Maybe I ain't somebody to be fooling with. I don't know what kind of perspective you have of me. I'm not the energy to be fooling with. I don't know what 
idea of Cynthia you have in your head. But whoever that is, maybe you need to throw that out the window. Cute and cuddly, out the window. You don't want me to match the energy you all have been sending me. Because I do it from a distance. Hands off. My words alone were this mental everything. That thick idea of yourself. you Baby, I will dismantle you. Quit playing with me. You're playing with fire. It's like it's one of those flames. You keep trying to touch it and it keeps... The wind keeps blowing it away. So you don't know the wind is helping you. You say, hey, don't touch that, don't touch that, don't touch that. Don't touch that, don't touch that, don't touch that. It's helping you. <laughs> you don't get it. It's helping you. When you go to touch a fire or flame and the wind is blowing it away, that, that's the universe giving you a message. You don't want to touch that one. Especially the, the blue flame. The blue flame is worse than the red or that bright orange one we see. So if you go to touch it and something happy and it flickers away, thank the universe. Quit playing with me. You don't want me to be petty like you all. I ain't insecure, but I could learn how to move like an insecure person. But if I move like an insecure person, it's to hit you all directly where I know I can hit you. You already give your powers to me. So I know exactly how to dismantle all of you. And I don't care how old you are. I know exactly what to do to you. And I don't got to be malicious with that. I can, be, I can do it tactfully, diplomatically, like I always do. Y'all ain't never seen me be out here ghetto or nothing, right? I may say a curse word here and there. <laughs> but I don't got to be ghetto with you. You, you. you don't want me to scoop to your level. Stop playing with me. I don't care how many people you have in your cult that you created just to come for me. Stop playing with me. I don't care how many people you pay, who you pay. Stop playing with me. It's somebody in law enforcement. I don't even care for what it is you all do. And they are so glad that someone like me is standing up for themselves because they know you all have been doing this for a long time. And nobody says anything. Nobody does anything. Everybody gets t scared, puts their tail between their legs and just walk away. And you were expecting the same thing from more. I ain't freaking going nowhere. I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm going to tell you what the heck it is I got to say. Just like you all feel invincible to do whatever you want to do, I'm going to tell you whatever the heck I got to say. Throw rocks and kick peppers. Leave me and my babies alone. Quit playing with me before I start exposing your secrets. And I will describe you. I will not use your government name because, baby, uh, allegedly, okay? Because you're all quick to try to sue people after you destroy their lives behind the scenes, trying to find a reason to put some type of frivolous lawsuit on them. So, baby, I won't, I won't even use your name. I'll describe you to a T. Anybody can look that way. But guess what? People in your community will know exactly who you are. But you can't come and say, oh, yeah, she was talking about me. You got to prove I was talking about you. Remember? Quit playing with me. It's like you got to impress you are trying to turn into a thing. Because I'm a thug. Like, you want me to be like loud and ghetto and obnoxious. And stuff. That's not me. Like, you, you're trying to prove that I'm not who I says I am. What does that got to do with you, baby? Not a thing. Quit playing with me. You're playing with fire. Baby, when I burn you. <laughs> It ain't cute. You'll forget how beautiful this skin is. You'll forget how charismatic I can be. You'll forget my charms. And you're like, God dang it. She went straight to the boom. Yes. 
Quit playing with me. Quit playing with me. Quit playing with me. When I start listing everybody that got something amongst you all, when I start listing who gave you what, when I start listing who's neglecting who, who's abusing who, who had a hand in someone passing, blah, 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 you ain't finna like it. Stop playing with me. When I start telling you why you are the way you are, quit playing with me. Quit playing with me. I'm sick of you all. You're pushing it. You're pushing it. I don't care who you are. You can be my mother, sister, brother, father, whoever. Bosses, ex-bosses, co-workers, ex-co-workers. I don't care who you are. If I decide to spaz out like you all want me to spaz out, somebody's going to be hurt, but it ain't going to be me. No, baby. It's not going to be me. I already know who I am. So I can guarantee you 100% I'm not the one that's going to be hurt. Okay? You're all working real hard to steal something. Don't let her grow. Don't let her accelerate. Don't let her do this. We're going to project a lot of energy towards her and things like that. Keep doing whatever it is you're doing. But baby, my path is already established. And you all were determined to destroy me. We're going to teach you a lesson. We're going to humble you. You're going to pay for what you do. What did I do to you? Nothing. Never slept with any of your husbands. I ain't into women, so you can't say I slept with any of your wives or nothing. Never took nothing from you. Never cursed you out. Maybe told you about yourself unintentionally and you felt some type of way about it. Maybe I said what I said. I said what I said. Quit playing with me. I, <laughs> I, I got a different kind of access to you all. You got access to the system, but I got access in a different way. I got access in a different way. Maybe that her eye is sharp. That dream state, useful. Leave me alone. You're looking for some type of information you ain't never gonna get. Give it time. It, she's, she's, we're going to find it. We're going to hear it. She's going to say, no, you're, whatever information you're looking for, you're not going to get it. Give it time. She's going to quit. She's going to, no, baby, I ain't going to quit. Maybe this is a lifelong commitment I've committed myself to. We're going to fight till one of us ain't here no more. And maybe I'm I'm passing away at 103. So I don't know what it is for the rest of you. Okay? I'm leaving at 103. This is my last incarnation. I can't say that for the rest of you. You're indebted to me anyways. Few lifetimes. Three lifetimes apiece. So I know this is not your last rodeo. And after you're done doing it, I don't know who you owe. A whole bunch of people. So you got quite a few more to come back. I'm on my last rodeo. I ain't coming back here no more. So. uh, Leave me alone. You, what, what, you, what the damages you all can cause me. Are temporary. The damages me and my ancestors and angels. Can cause you permanent. <laughs> You want me to be insidious, but you don't you don't know you're not asking for something that is gonna be beneficial for you. You don't want me to be insidious. I'm capable of being dark and light. You just know how to be dark. I choose to team my darkness and operate from my light energy. So I prefer to allow people to practice free will 
no matter how hard it is sometimes, because sometimes I see you mother F for doing things, and I'm like, ooh, ancestors, it's a hey, chill. <laughs> okay, so I got to collect myself. The reason I don't respond is not because I'm not capable of responding. It's because I choose not to respond. It's a hands-off approach. This is my last rodeo. I can't say that for the rest of you. You're in debt to so many people. You don't even read your lineages. In debt. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You're out here confused, mad, trying to figure out what kind of communication somebody is sending, how you can steal some type of communication, block some type of communication, stop somebody from healing and things like that. Whoever this King Kastoris is, baby, I don't know what it is you've been thinking you were doing, but you don't end it yourself. You don't undone yourself. You're about to lose everything. Everything. Okay? You may have a king of wands reverse that's going to want to communicate with somebody about coming together and having some type of closure. I don't know if it's a meeting. Like, he wants to send you some type of good good news or something. Maybe you, I don't got no meeting with anybody in your community. I don't care if it's the king of wands, king of cups, king of swords, king of pentacles, knight of wands, knight of cups. I don't got nothing with you all. Maybe some, maybe somebody amongst you thinking they and myself are twin flame. I'm not a twin flame of anybody in that community. Maybe I met my twin flame a whole long time ago before I met any of you. <laughs> Ain't none of you in my, in this community a twin flame of mine. Maybe you're a soul companion. We're in the same soul group in the spirit realm. But I met my twin flame way before I even met any of you. Leave me alone. I ain't, listen, I ain't out here looking for nothing from nobody. Leave me alone. I'm not going nowhere with anybody. I'm not going on a trip, on a vacation, relocating with nobody. Until I decide. It's time. Listen, I see a man getting all ready to come into my energy talking about, I'm so proud of you. I thought they don't took all this action to block me. Block my reason. Baby, I am looking for nothing from you. No no disrespect. Leave me alone. You know that song? Who is that Kevin gets love don't live here anymore or something? Not that I ever had a romance with you. Whatever you're looking for from me, I can't give to you. Because you all don't cross the line. You're part of it too. So I don't know if you want to come in and play innocent and play like you didn't know what was going on. Maybe you know I got my third eye, right? So even the stuff you're trying to hide, people may not know. You know I got my third eye, right? You know that, right? How you going to go from calling somebody weird and things like that and then all of a sudden you want to what? Want them to see you as a twin flame? Maybe I don't, I don't got time for all that nonsense. Twin flame, higher level soul, me, that is not my focus. When the universe is ready for me to be in love, baby, they already got somebody for me to be in love with. So I ain't out here waiting for nobody. My focus is on something else. So the woman that's been coming after me to make it seem, to, 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 to uh, uh, make me seem unfit, baby, you wasting your time. You can have the man. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous as heck. You want the job, girl, get the job, take the job. You want the opportunity, girl, take the opportunity. You can have the opportunity. Baby, I ain't desperate for nothing. I told you all. My relationship with the source, baby, that's where my loyalty is because the source always come through for me. So I ain't out here waiting on nobody to do me nothing. If I need help, if I fix my mouth to ask for help and somebody doesn't help me, that don't mean I'm going to sit around in destitute and in despair. That, oh my gosh, Mary Jean is not helping me. Now I'm going to get up and go figure it out. If I try to figure it out and it don't work out, that means my ancestors are telling me to sit my behind down and they got to figure it out. So no, baby. I ain't trying to force nothing from nobody. 
If a man is confused on who to give something to, he needs help. Because you're at every single one of you, your energies are so pronounced. You got to be a blind man, blind in two eyes to not see what it is that the rest of us see. Like you got to choose not to see the toxicity. You got to choose not to see the desperation. You got to choose not to see the insecurities. You got to choose not to see the deception. So he chose not to see any of that. He can't come and say, oh, I didn't know. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. He's probably afraid of go to, to, to come towards me because he don't want to be criticized. He don't want me to ask him questions. Like, he don't want me to, you know, get clarity. So he wants to come in and give me a piece of the truth. Maybe not. I already know what it is you all have been doing. Why you've been doing? Don't leave me alone. What is wrong with you people? Why are you competing for a man? Where is your self-worth? Where is your self-esteem? You don't got none of it? And you're so you're so determined to prove that you are the actual woman, though, the actual queen of who, queen of what, emperor what. You don't realize that you're proving you're not because empresses, real queens don't even move. A real queen ain't going to go out of their way for you to notice them. As a matter of fact, they prefer you to notice them. Say, I got better things to worry about. I don't need no men coming, causing me problems. Whoever this is, you all have been competing for. This is somebody that likes women to fight over them. Maybe I don't fight for men. It makes him feel good about himself when women are fighting over him. Like, <gasps> dang, dang. What? Tofia Kwa. God forbid. Bid for God. Abomination. I should ever fight for a man. Tofia Kwa. That is. Uh -uh. Leave me alone. You can have the man. You can have the job. You can have whatever the F he has. Leave me alone. Thank you for watching. I'm still abundant and I'm still going to be abundant. I'm still going to post his message. You're about to be in distress because I'm still good. The powers that be are still taking care of moi. So whatever you've been destroying, it's okay. It'll be rebuilt. It'll be a uh, fixed in time. Keep on doing it. I'm secure. I'm protected. I am loved. I'm cherished. Baby, I am lovely. Balanced, healed, caring, nurturing, abundant. Okay? And a freaking force to be reckoned with. And I ain't going nowhere. And I ain't turning my lights off. If it bothers you, run back into the dark as far away as you can because my light shines bright for miles to come. So good luck running away as fast as you can because my light is still penetrating. Maybe even when I'm gone, it is still penetrating the lives. That had the privilege to be around me. That's why some of you are so hooked. Maybe you got exposed to my energy. And it was just so pure. You're so beautiful. You got you got, you, you got it there. You said, shoot. Who's this mother sucker here? Okay. So you can have the man, you can have the business, you can have the whatever else it is you are trying so desperately to have. You want to be seen as the empress, baby girl, you are the empress. Now what? Anyways, baby, I don't got time anymore. I've said enough. It's freaking 2 hours and 18 minutes, 43 seconds. Maybe more by the time I stop. Listen, you all need to figure out your stuff. Leave me out of it. This whole situation is coming to a conclusion. And once it comes to a conclusion, I pray that the universe let me know what else to do on my platform so I can get done with this story because it is just pathetic as can be.
This is not the energy that normal people should be in. Something is wrong with you all, but you don't want to fix it. You want to keep projecting your problems onto other people. You choose to be greedy. Nobody took anything from you. You're trying to take from me. I'm done. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed, everybody, including you all that's been coming after me. Try to stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.